Yes. Uh, Brad, going into your second season, obviously you got a good bit of playing time as a first year guy kind of thrown into the fire. Um, what did you really learn last year that's really going to help you kind of take it up to the next level this season? Uh, really just I learned how to, uh, I just learned the gameplay, really just the feel of the game and being able to just the, the adaptation from leaving from high school and coming to college is, you know, two completely different things. So, you know, being able to uh, actually get on the field and get that playing experience uh, just taught me all types of different things. And I know a lot of times with you guys, like especially the, you know, one of the most chance things is to keep you guys away from the media for that first season. Not that we have a problem with that, obviously, but, you know, what does that help you? Does that really help you kind of just focus, stay yeah. centered, keep your eyes and your ears in the direction they need to be? For sure. Like, uh, coming in, I'd probably say it was more of like a, more of a plus than I would have thought of it not, like now. But uh, just coming in, I was just like, you know, kind of like a, a weight lifted. I didn't have to, not that talking to you guys is a bad thing, you know, but it, it's pressure and stuff. And, you know, it's just one more thing for us to worry about. So coming in, I was glad that he kind of, you know, put that on hold and, Waited for this year for us to do that. So now I feel like I'm, you know, more ready than I would have been ready last year, you know, to be able to handle that and everything else that we have to handle, you know. And a guy like you came out of high school, a lot of a uh, lot of hype because you were a guy who was known as a pass rusher, that sort of thing. When you come in, and I know your stat line only says one set, not to try to throw salt onto the no, wound, not, not but you know the fact really is is that you were involved in a lot of plays where maybe you could have you know gotten another one here or another one there. I know one was wiped out by penalty, that sort of thing. Um, you know, what do you feel like is different about you now that's going to help you kind of improve those statistics? Well, now, like like you said earlier with the other question about you know learning experiences and stuff like that. Now I know, like, I've been in those situations where I was close to getting a sack or I was off. Oh, if I would have just, you know, maybe, like, came off a little bit faster, if I would have hit my move a little bit quicker. So, like, taking those things that I learned last season, I could put them, you know, in the practice like I did in spring game and in the spring practices. I could put them in the fall camp and just, you know, continue to continue to work on it, continue to work on my craft. So when those times come to where, you know, it's third down, third long, and, you know, they got me lined up. And I'm coming off the edge and on that third step, and I see the type of, you know, shoot his hands. I'm going to know what move to hit, or, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to know to finish at the top of the rush because the quarterback doesn't see me, and I got a blind spot, and I can knock the ball out. So things like that, uh, just learning experience, man, to help me, you know, get better for this season. And especially like with yourself, you know, it's it's – Last season, you really didn't get a chance to kind of like learn slowly and have a chance yeah. of it and that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, I know one thing the guys talk about is the speed of the game, you mm -hmm. know, especially coming from a school like Pendleton where you got a good coaching staff there, right. but nothing can really compare you to, you know, or prepare you, excuse me, for kind of the speed that you're going to experience exactly. in college football. Do you feel like now that the game is slowing down for you that you're able to kind of like absorb a little bit more and react maybe oh, yeah. a little quicker? Definitely. Uh, when I got here, like everything was moving 100 miles per hour. Like the meetings seemed like they were moving 100 miles per hour. Like practice was going fast. Everybody was moving fast. And not necessarily like you know them being faster than me, but just like the speed in which things take place. You know, it just happens faster. So you know, after last year being able to just being thrown in the fire like that, you know, like of course, like thinking about it, it was like dang. Like at the time, I didn't really want to, but it probably made me a better player because of it. Just being thrown in those situations and knowing what I would, you know, just naturally do, you know, instead of or a natural reaction to those being put in those situations, uh, it just helped me to become a better player. So, For a younger guy such as yourself, how difficult is it to stay grounded? I mean, you've got a team that, I mean, we all know what can happen if you overlook a team, even right. a team, you know, like, you know, like the Michigan Appalachian State from years ago. Exactly. Um, but just knowing that you got Georgia, coming up as quick as they're coming. Is it difficult for you guys to kind of stay focused on the task at hand, or is it just a, hey, we just want to play ball, it doesn't matter who we're playing against? Uh, no, nah, I don't think it's difficult at all for us to stay uh, focused, especially with like, the type of coaches that we have. We don't like, I mean, we ain't really with all the hype and all that other stuff, so like, we focus on everything, you know, win the day. That's one of our, you know, models. So we take things day to day. Of course, we got like a, you know, a plan set out for, you know, uh, big games like that, because it is a big game, but, we take things day to day. So right now, our main focus is fall camp. That's all you know. That's all we've been hearing. Like that's what much uh, emphasized as soon as we walked in for the team meeting. You know, when everybody, all the guys first got back, you know, it's fall camp. So training camp, we trying to get ready. So we hit it, and he said, you know, it's going to be a violent, you know, training camp, and that's how we're going to play. I know a guy like yourself coming from Anderson County, which of course you know I appreciate. Yeah. Uh, but you know, growing up in that footprint of a certain school, which we won't name, nah, how nah. difficult is it for you just to kind of you know like to 
to deal with that. If there is there really even anything to deal with? You know, yeah. you got a guy like Josh Belk who was there, now he's here, right. and it's you know a lot of fans buy into the hype. There's a lot of hatred there, but mm -hmm. on the flip side of that, I know a lot of you guys just y'all got friends. You yeah, know, and, and yeah, I it mean, is like, what it is. Like you said, I mean, I I grew up there, so my school is five minutes from the school. Like I really think we really like the closest high school to that university. But uh, so like all my friends. Guys I grew up with, guys I graduated with, family members, coaches, you know what I'm saying? Like majority is, you know, you know, they, they, they with the they with the orange, but I mean, it doesn't really affect me and they don't they don't I mean, the way they act towards me doesn't change because of where I went, you know what I'm saying? So like those relationships that I had with those people before I, you know, decided to come here, you know, only if anything improved, they would never, you know, they they didn't decline or fall off because of my decision. And uh, I guess that's just, you know, part of, like, my family and the people I have behind me supporting me, so.